Hi everybody, my name is Fugu Iduma and in today's video, I'm super super excited for today's video because in today's video, I'll be taking you around Prague. I'll be taking you for a whole week. I think it's a whole week. I have like a whole bunch of clips. I know it's a whole week, but not only am I taking you um, for a whole week around Prague and just showing you clips of Prague, just in case you actually want to see the city of Prague. I'm also too taking you through um, the first week of Prague, like what and what you're supposed to do as an international student. So for those of you just tuning in, I am an international student, uh, specifically I'm an Erasmus student. I'm here for my last mobility, like my last third semester for my master's program here in Prague in Charles University. So um, I came in a couple of actually this is like a whole lot after like i came in a month ago um and i wanted to like show you guys like the process like what and what to do like in the first five to seven days um into prague what and what you need to get done what that what you need to get sorted what files you need to do and show i don't say avoid deportation but like to just keep staying in prague you know uh just just in case somebody wants to move into move to prague or you know come to prague or something like that you kind of like have an idea of what and what i need to do something like that but hope it's helpful hope the video helps you welcome to monday today is monday <laughs> my viral let me pick my pen so i'm just going to prepare for my class that i have on monday like obviously i can start doing this maybe middle of the week or something like that but i actually have five courses this semester we usually have three courses both in glasgow and in dublin prague i just have five courses so i feel like it's a lot and it's been a while i, I started no it's been a while I read anything or even held a biro. Outside writing, like holding a biro to like, I don't know, write food lists. I haven't actually held a biro. So I want to like start reading now. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow I meet my friend Ida. Ida is coming to see me. But I'm super, super excited. I'm also too excited to like start this semester. Like this is the last semester. I call this the stretch and i'm absolutely excited to actually start this semester it sounds foolish like saying you're excited to start school but like before i started this degree i was like you know what i'm going to work hard but like i want to go beyond my best in terms of working hard i want to give this degree my all and i know that usually like undergraduate level like towards the end of something i usually just get tired that's when like i slow down my momentum because i literally like build up the momentum and the middle of the semester like the middle of the degree i usually like perform like really really well and towards the end i perform horribly but like i don't want it to be like this semester like i want to like push really really hard this last semester like giving my all but at the same time to be mindful of not performing and just um doing it because i want to do it doing it because um i genuinely enjoy what i'm studying and i just want to give the semester my best without any expectation of something or anything like i just want to do my best like i want when i finish the degree i'll be like yes this was my absolute best i gave it my all and because i gave it my all i absolutely have no regrets so that's my plan all this long story and i want to also to learn spss not only do i want to like learn for the semester i also want to start preparing for like life after this degree i need to get tangible skills that i will put on my cv that will make me employable because i want to be employable because unemployment scares me shitless honest to god i don't want to be unemployed it's funny how i'm learning data analysis considering like <laughs> I had straight F's in secondary school, like, wow, <laughs> wow. And you know the funniest thing, like, I'm the third best in my class in secondary school, but I had an F. Does that say a lot about my classmates? <laughs> yes, we were dumb <laughs> in mass. Uh, but, like, I, I can't say, like, I'm the best data analysis person, but, like, I genuinely enjoy it. I enjoy numbers. Even in secondary school, I actually liked numbers. I just, I just didn't know how to give it the right answer, but I actually preferred math to English story um but i think i really want to like um 
I want to learn Python, I want to learn, learn R, I want to learn SPSS and I'm obviously learning Nevivo but it's for my project. SPSS, I'm familiar with SPSS because of undergraduate level but I didn't really pay attention to it. Like you're yeah, teaching me but I didn't really want to learn but I'm just I'm just there. So but I want to learn it. So this whole week I want to devote like one hour to it and do seven hours of learning this whole week so monday to sunday i would devote one hour to spss and when the semester starts next week i want to now devote 30, 30 minutes so i'll be learning for three and a half hours hopefully i'm able to learn it in three weeks hopefully like this month is to spss and obviously no vivo because it's for my project i don't know how to do that but then it's for my project i have an idea actually it's not that bad like Nevivo, it's not that bad. Like I've been watching tutorials on it, and it's not actually that bad. Um, but like I, that's my plan on this long talk. That's my plan. <laughs> Student name, student call. I've studied for like one hour and I'm restless. All I can think about is lunch and it's actually like um, it's one o'clock so I just want to have rice like the rice I made um, yesterday like finish it, have it with salmon um, but then I was like you know what I'm almost done with the first um, the first journal I opened like, give or take 10 more pages so in my head i'm like okay you know what let me just marinate my meat so i marinate my fish as it's man man <laughs> as it's soaking up the juice of the of the spices i'll be studying and then by two o'clock actually one hour by two o'clock i will then have lunch so that's my plan Hey, if you also to watch my last vlog, um, my last vlog, you would actually see I got this drink. This is beer. <laughs> this is flavored beer. Do I hate it? Yes. Will I drink it? Yes. Why? It's my money. I'm gonna drink it. I'm not a fan. Absolutely not a fan. Well, this is how I'm having it. I swear I'm feeling like a hardcore, I don't know, armor bar because this is just this pepper, like two tablespoons, not even teaspoons, and salt and onions. This is gonna be spicy. Pray for my toilet though, that's all I can say. Pray. On the SPSS then I'm actually making progress with it. Uh, but then I want to use like actual data to like maybe do what we were doing because these things are just imaginary we just put like numbers and figures and all that but then I want to do something with actual data so I'll probably maybe go what do I want to go to get data uh, I want to go to maybe Arcled, um or where else do I want to go to something terror is a terrorism database sure I can't remember the actual name right now, but get actual data and actually practice. But I was able to learn a lot, like this just regular descriptive, um, descriptive analysis and then correlation. That's what you previously saw that I closed. So those were the two things I learned in an hour. I can't even say an hour because technically I was doing this and then cooking the rice. But then it seemed so straightforward and so easy. I can't even believe I was finding it difficult during undergraduate level, but it's not that hard. God, I've been taking the picture with you, you know. Ah. Is it a bit late? Yes. Hi, everybody. I wasn't able to do my police registration, but I'm going today to do that. Um, I was waiting for my um license of like agreement for this accommodation to be able to do that. So I'll be needing my passport my covid test um, my license of agreement for my um landlord i'm going to carry like a passport photograph just in case though but i don't know either was telling me i don't need it but i'm just going to take it just in case but i'll leave it on the screen whether or not i needed it but that's what i'm going to do 
I don't know. I'm like on serious heavy clothing right now. Like I'm on layers inside this. Like inside this layers. Like layers. Under layers. So this is going to be a long day because I'm thinking of going to pick up my ID card. Like my student ID card from Charles University. So to be able to um, get what's that thing called? Like my metro card. I have to have like my student ID. So I need to also to get that. And I'm like okay so I also want to can um go to the bank to fix my card at hsbc so i was like you know what's going to be a long day let's wear our size no respect that age well that's what i'm going to do yes so wait though the weather here as i'm looking outside is looking like it's not my mate like it's looking like it's older than me so i said you know what let me also still throw on this because i'm still going to wear my clothes but let's still throw on this because <laughs> it's looking dangerous all day on the streets <laughs> guys i'm back from today's escapade and what what can i say i need wisdom that's all i can say that's all i can say i decided to walk to hsbc today it was a 35 minutes walk under the cold cold like blood is just coming back to my fingers like it was chilly out there and then <laughs> i got there they not told me that that's not their actual like this is just their office that their branch is now where i live like i don't even know if i should stay 10 to 15 minutes away to from where i live okay now i was like you know what i can't be foolish twice i'm going to just order a taxi and it'll take me there i don't even mind paying i took a taxi got there they now told me they only do a commercial account and not personal accounts devastated devastated because god have i been walking as if i lost blood some pints of blood were lost wow okay and then i was like all right i'll figure it out as i was coming back i just was like you know what let's not be wise let me get some gloves i don't know i have gloves i just don't know where they are like i just don't know where they are so i just said let me get gloves because all through yesterday i was looking for it and day before yesterday too, and i couldn't find it so i was like you know maybe i actually forgot to put it in my bag and i thought i did so i just got some gloves because i can't be foolish twice like foolishness twice is a mistake i was then pressed i was like you know what let me rush back home i'm not also going to do the police registration technically i'm actually going to be doing late registration with that police and uh they will charge me for that um just because i'm supposed to do it three to mm -mm, i'm supposed to do it like a day to three working days from when i arrive and i arrive I, I, I arrived on saturday so technically three working days will be monday to wednesday and then tomorrow is thursday so i won't be able to do that but um my my lease is taking time to come it's coming tomorrow so i'll just do it tomorrow but for then today ida is coming again to take and um, take me to charles university let me pick up my student id card and um probably maybe get like my metro card <sighs> other than that blood is just coming back to my my bones and it's taking time to adjust like whoa like i don't know i feel like it's still red like my fingers fingers so i got this cap i definitely know i'm doing the most but the kind of breeze that was blowing through my head there uh, my god my god my god i was beginning to see my grandpapa and whoo, whoo, that's all i can say and then i got these gloves it reminded me of oj simpson <laughs> like it just reminded me of oj simpson it's so big but I was like, you know what? I want something snug. Like I just want to feel snug this side. Like it's a, it's it's an ugly glove. But like OJ Simpson, I'm being snug. It made a lot of sense. It did.
But I don't know, the cap is not that bad though. It's not that bad. If I flip the camera, you actually like my vibe. <laughs> You guys, I'm looking for a name for my cap, like my gloves. I gave the name to my gloves, OJ Simpson, because those gloves, they have that vibe. <laughs> but this, I don't know what to call her. I'm thinking Harriet or Harry and like, I don't know. It gives me like a little bit of journey from the hood kind of vibes. But like, I'm thinking of a name, eh? Maybe my dog. I don't know, something crazy for the cap. You know, mad dog. That sounds nice. <laughs> but so that we're we're going out. I don't know. Like I don't think I gave out the dates. Um, I came in for my ID card and I came by three o three fifteen. And apparently they closed by three o'clock. And I was fifteen minutes late. And she still couldn't capture me. <sighs> Ida, I named my cup. I named it Mad Dog. Hmm? I named my cat Mad Dog. Mad Dog? Yes. <laughs> I named it Mad Dog. OJ. Eh? OJ and ah, Mad Dog. OJ is in my bag. So this is OJ, mm -hmm. this is Mad Dog. <laughs> Straight up food. <laughs> You're not even that fun. <laughs>
this town and the other elements are there. That is just for library entrances and other things here. Okay. 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 I'm attempting to do something that looks like a meatball, but I don't think I got the piece of meat right. I don't think I'm getting it right. So, I guess it is either way. And I'm making stir fry. The last item is this rice, and will be done for meal prep. I have this here. It's a stir fry, but I don't know. And then I have. That actually tastes good. It's just like it was about to burn, and I added like a tiny bit of water, then made it like all soupy, but it's very delicious. And then I have this. This doesn't look like a decent meatball, but it tastes good. But I'll keep practicing, you know, like, yeah, with different types of grounded meat or something like that, or even have like actual meat. It's just that the way I make my meatballs, I pound the meat, but I don't have anything to pound it, so like, I'm not resorting to grounded meat, but. I'll get like the perfect grounded meat and then be able to do it. It tastes good. This is actually the end of the video, but before you leave, I didn't want to like leave you without saying goodbye and hope I see you next week and hope you enjoyed the video. Leave down in the comment section what part of Prague you absolutely love. I personally love. <laughs> I personally love the main square and just seeing um the buildings, especially like how this like colored the buildings are somewhere like pink you know i don't know beige or yellow i actually like like different color patterns of the city of like the buildings in the city but leave a comment down below of what kind what part of prague did you absolutely love i know it's not a whole lot of prague you saw but what specifically in the video did you absolutely love is it the bridge is it uh but thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more clips from prague